assalamu alaikum welcome to so sisters delightful food kitchen today i'll be making kerala meat fry for this we need spices such as dry red chilies bay leaf and fennel seeds and also coriander seeds cloves and uh, black pepper corn green cardamom uh, cinnamon stick and star anise for the measurement of the ingredients you need to see the description box below this video and firstly i'll on the gas i'll heat the pan and i'll dry roast this uh, all the spices which i told you For just two three minutes, you need to roast them. These masalas give good flavor once it is roasted. I have roasted the spices for five to six minutes, and as you can see, the coriander has uh, changed the color. In fragrance itself shows that it's all roasted and so uh, now you need to keep this aside to cool okay i have heated the pan again to roast the desiccated coconut You need to roast this until it's golden brown. I have off the flame as the coconut is roasted well. Again, keep this aside in a plate to cool. I have transferred all the spices to mixer grinder. I'll be uh, grinding it to a powder form. To this powder, I'll be adding turmeric powder. and also garam masala powder i'll uh, grind this again to mix it well i've taken out uh, the masala from mixer into a bowl and you have to use this uh, for marination of mutton this is 1 kg of mutton and uh, i'll be adding half of this spices half we'll use later for cooking also add salt according to your taste and mix this well I have mixed the uh, mixed the spices and salt to the meat, and uh, I also want to tell you that this is boneless meat, and uh, you need to cut it into cubes, smaller cubes. Okay, this should be boneless. It tastes much more good than with bones. Keep this uh, marinated for around 30 to 45 minutes and keep it aside. Now this is the final step to cook the meat, and I also want to tell you that you can even use beef if you like. Okay, so I have heated oil. Okay. we adding onion mix it cook until it's golden brown to the salad ginger garlic paste and then stir it So I 
add green chilies, slit and curry leaves. Adding the desiccated coconut which are roasted. Cook this on medium flame for few minutes. Then add the masala which I kept uh, aside. Half of the masala which I kept aside. That one I am adding now. Mix this again. Wait for the masala to leave oil. To this, I am adding tomatoes, finely chopped. Tomatoes are uh, optional in this recipe. If you don't want, don't put it. Now wait for the tomatoes to be softened. To this I am adding water. Wait for it to boil. Once there is boil, we will add the meat. It is boiled to the gravy. Now I am adding the meat which I marinated for 45 minutes. Also added uh, salt to the gravy. This dish is always dry, so we need to make it dry. Remember that. Wait for the meat to uh, be tender. Cover this with lid and make sure that the steam side is open so that the uh, gravy dries off. We need it to be uh, dry. I have taken out the lid and uh, the meat is half cooked so again uh, let it cook for some more time once it's tender we'll off the flame as you can see the gravy has become dry but the, the mutton is not cooked so wait for it to cook to check whether it's cooked or not you need to just press one piece of it on with a uh, this and it's not breaking that means it's not yet tender so let it cook until it's tender even if it's uh, dry it's okay let it cook okay. I have off the flame as beef is uh, tender Kerala meat fry is ready to serve serve it with uh, parotta and uh, thank you so much for watching the video if you loved watching it like the video and also subscribe our channel 
and like our facebook page the link is in the description box of the facebook page thank you